everyone, it's Mercy here from Stampin' with Mercy. I am super excited to be here with you today. I'm just gonna take a moment and load this up onto my iPad so that I can see all the comments. Hold on just one minute. And I'm just going to share to my newsfeed post. Okay, so I hope everybody is having a great week so far. Today is Thursday. Um, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, I've had a busy week this week. I had my stamp -a stack on Tuesday, so that was a lot of fun. Um, the ladies really enjoyed um, creating uh, 10 cards with brand new products. So today, um, we're going to be creating something with the adorable Hey Love stamp set. Um, this was one of my very first have to have purchases from the new occasions catalog. So before we get started, I just want to say, um, sharing is caring. So please share my video to your groups, to your personal page, anywhere you feel that somebody might enjoy, uh, my crafting, um, with the Facebook algorithms, the way they've changed, I'm going to ask that you please show me some love. When you um, love something, stam um, stamping up, oh my goodness, <laughs> uh, Facebook will then recognize that and will um, show that video or that post more. I'm not sure why, but just liking it isn't good enough. Um, so to get my posts out there to reach more people, I would truly appreciate if you show me some love. This is my full-time job. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And I would love to uh, reach more people. So if you wouldn't mind doing that for me, I would absolutely love it. Now, I don't know if you're here for the very first time welcome or if you're returning thank you for coming back um, whether you're watching the live or the replay later on or on my youtube channel if you're watching it on my youtube channel please subscribe i truly would appreciate that and then you will see all of my videos um, this year i'm working on getting more videos out um, as I get more organized with doing that. I'm uh, fairly new to doing videos. So thank you so much for um, joining me today. Uh, please comment where you are watching me from. I always love to uh, know where um, my viewers are watching from. So I am going to take a sticky note and I'm going to flip you down so that uh, we can get crafting. Okay, let me just adjust this now. And I'm going to bring you a little lower if I can. I've got some hand lotion on my hands. I went for a walk this morning, so my uh, hands are a little slippery. So let's bring you down and move my camera here. Whoops, sorry about the jiggling. So let's see here. Oh, and there's a glare. Let's move that for a moment. And now I think we are good. Let's just move everything up just a smidge. I'm sorry that it's taking a little bit to get this moved here. I've got this taped down so it doesn't um, 
move around while I'm creating. So let me just lift this up to move you up just a bit. Okay. There, I think that should be good. All right, I'm just moving my host code here. The host code is for when you're purchasing online from me. Um, if you enter the host code, if your order is under $200, then I will um, send you a thank you gift if your order is over $200, do not use the host code as Stampin' Up! Um, gives you the um, host rewards for that um, size of an order. That is before shipping and tax. Okay, so just let me adjust my lighting. I don't want any shadows here. Okay, so... The super adorable Hey Love stamp set. Um, I actually created this last night. I'm using this as a class this month as well. This is what we're going to create today. A super adorable little um, treat box. It's a pizza box. Stampin' Up! sells these. And as you can see, it is full of little chocolate hearts. There's not too many Valentine's candies out there quite yet. So, um, but I did find these chocolate hearts. So um, we're going to be uh, creating this. Now the pizza boxes are in the annual catalog. They um, are so quick and easy to use. They are on page uh, 193. They are $8.25 before tax and shipping, and you get eight boxes, and they are food safe. So that means you can put any kind of food in there, um, cookies or uh, brownies or chocolates, whatever you want, and you can be sure that that is food safe. So um, that is great to know, and you can also dress them up. This is a fun and kind of a whimsical cutesy set but I just wanted to show you this sits in my office here on my desk in the background hi Barb how are you I'm glad you remembered so this is a pizza box that um, I decorated up I covered all the sides this was for my son's wedding last year um, he got married in July. So this was the uh, favor boxes on everybody's spot. So I just wanted to show you that these pizza boxes are not just for fun and whimsical, cutesy type of uh, treats. You can dress them up and they can be uh, used for an elegant type of setting, which is um, fabulous. They're very, very versatile and they're very reasonably priced. I like that. So, for this here, I am using, let me, where's my occasions catalog? Now, I have to kind of gasp here. My occasions catalog has uh, been beaten up quite a bit. Um, as you can see, it is actually missing the cover. The cover has come off. Now, in my defense, I've had this since November. It came back on the plane with me from um, Orlando, Florida, from on stage. So it has been um, rung through the ringer, I guess you could say. Um, I've flipped through it many, many times, but this is my personal copy, so that's okay. I don't mind that the um, covers come off. So the Hey Love stamp set, I have flagged it in here. That is on page um, number eight, and it is a cling stamp. So that means that it is um, very, very sticky. Now, I have to say, last night I stamped um, my gorilla. I'm gonna call him Fred. 
he looks like a Fred to me, a cute, cuddly gorilla. And so um, when I stamped Fred on my um, cardstock here, I stamped him twice so that he would, uh, the ink would dry for me to um, use my Stampin' Blends. I forgot him on the clear block. Well, that is absolutely not recommended because this is so super sticky. As you can see, I am pushing, I am jiggling, and it's not coming off. This was glued on here this morning. I came down to my craft room and went, oh no. So what I did was, I took it to the uh, um, sink and I just ran some cool water over it and it helped uh, to um, moisten this so that I could peel it off. Because you have to, with your cling stamps, you have to go from the corner and peel slowly because this um, adhesive that is on this image now is so super sticky that if you were to try and just peel it off quickly um, without taking care, you could rip your foam. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Also, when you're sticking it on there, you have to make sure that it is absolutely in the spot you want it because you cannot peel this up and then reposition it if you've put it on crooked. Once it's down, it's down, it's not going anywhere. Also, this type of stamp set, the red rubber, we used to have in the annual catalog, they're called cling, they're called clear mount. Going forward, there is no more clear mount, it is cling mount. And I just wanted to talk about this for a moment because I had a customer that I was chatting with this morning and um, she was a little confused, which is absolutely understandable because she thought clear mount meant see-through. So I am super glad that Stampin' Up! has changed to the cling mount because now there's no confusion because clear, you think of clear that you can see through. Well, no, clear is just the name of it. So it is the red rubber. So seeing through is a photopolymer stamp set. So that means you can see completely through to the background. So remember that, that if you want a see-through stamp, that is photopolymer. And not all stamps are um, available in photopolymer, but um, it will say on the stamp case that it is a photopolymer stamp set or it is a cling stamp set. So that is the difference between the two, just so you are aware. And because the photopolymer has no foam, in between them, like the um, red rubber ones, um, you need to use, as you can see, that foam gives that cushion so that you have a better image. So without that, the photopolymer, you need one of our um, stamp and pierce mats because that foam is going to um, give you a better stamped image that, um, at least I find. I know some people don't, but I do. So this is the stamp set that we're using right here. Hey Love from page eight of the Occasions catalog. It's got some adorable, adorable images. And then I've paired it with the All My Love Designer Series paper from page five. I'm using the heart um, pattern from here and it's with the lovely lipstick um, cardstock. And then I'm also using the lovely lipstick um, ribbon that is from the All My Love ribbon combo pack. So let's get started here. I, like I said, I have already stamped him so that he is good and dry. I am using my lovely lipstick Stampin' Blend I'm using my light and my dark um, smoky slate 
And then I'm also using my light and my dark petal pink. And that is for the, um, the petal pink is for his tummy and his hands, his face. And then the dark is his little uh, rosy blushing cheeks because he's a little bashful. And then my tag here is from the adorable, I've had them for a little while now and I just pulled them out last night um, to use the Sweet Pins and Tags from page 15. They're part of the How Sweet It Is Sweet. And you get 24 tags, eight each of the three designs. And these are so pretty. Um, when I knew I wanted to do some kind of a treat box with this, I thought, what can I use? So I went into my bin and these are the pins that come with them. And this is, these are the tags and they've got an iridescent um, shine to them. Really pretty. So there's the circles the squares and then the ovals here but a super fun way to dress up your project so i stamped my sentiment on that and no there is not a coordinating die with this stamp set this stamp set um if you want to cut it out like i did you have to fussy cut hi stephanie thanks for coming by so I'm going to start with, uh, actually, let's start with the uh, Dark Lovely Lipstick. And I like using, because I have to get close to his fingers there, I like using the uh, brush tip. And I'm just going to very lightly try to stay in the lines and not go over because otherwise it will bleed. And you don't need to do any shading with this heart. I think winter has arrived in southwestern Ontario. I had to do some shoveling this morning. And uh, walking this morning was a little... Uh, a little treacherous in some spots as the um, sidewalk plow has not been everywhere. So I'm taking my dark and I'm just going around in some of the areas here where I know I'm going to want a little bit of darkness. And then I will blend that out. And I'm staying away from the um, black outside lines as much as possible because they are alcohol markers. They will bleed. Okay, so, oh, his little here and there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my light smoky slate. And I am going to color that in. Now I am offering this stamp set as a class to go. I have an in-person class on February 22nd. I still have spots for either the 1 o'clock or the 7 p.m. class. If you would like to uh, join us, send me a message. Or you can order this class online. So what you would do is go to my online store or message me that you want to um, have the class to go. You order this stamp set and then I will send you all of the supplies 
that you would need to create your projects. So anything that is die cut or embossed, I would do that for you. Um, nothing will be stamped as per Stampin' Up! policy. We are not allowed to um, send stamped images. So I'm just going over that to blend that dark areas a bit better. And then once it uh, dries, it will uh, look a little different yet again. And remember, celebration is going on right now. Every $60 you spend before tax and shipping gets you a free item from the celebration brochure. A free $60 gets you a free level one. $120 gets you a level two. There are two level two choices in the um, celebration brochure. If you live in Canada and do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Um, I would love to send you a catalog. Uh, just drop me a uh, message or an email to let me know um, what catalogs you would like, if you need all of them or just the occasions and celebration. I'm happy to send them out to you. There's also the amazing um, deal going on right now for the starter kit that uh, you pay $135 and you get uh, $225 um, in product. You, cho you choose $225 but you only pay $135 and there's no tax and no shipping. That is all pure product here in Ontario. Um, you don't have to be local to be part of my team. We have monthly um, team meetings and um, it's the dark, I want the light. Is this sale on during your all-day event? It sure is, Barb. The celebration goes from January 3rd to uh, March 31st. So all orders placed um, will qualify because my um, creative escape that you're coming to on January 26th is right at near the beginning of celebration so yes you will get to choose something if your order is uh 60 so every 60 so if you had a 120 dollar order and did not like the um two different offerings for the 120 dollar order you could pick two level one celebration sets Okay, and see I a little bit too much there and I can see a little bit of bleeding, unfortunately, but that is okay. So I'm just going to give Fred some rosy cheeks here because he's a happy guy. Okay, so now I'm going to cut him out. And when you're cut, um, coloring with Stampin' Blends, use your thick whisper white because you can see how it goes through now on your regular whisper white it's not as thick of a card stock so it bleeds even more all right so when you're fussy cutting i always like to leave a bit of a border around my image And you move your paper, not your scissors. 
So that way you have a smoother looking cut line, um, not jagged. Make sure I'm in the camera view here. And I want his fun little hairs that are up on top um, to, I don't want to cut them off. You could, but I don't want to cut them off. I want them to be part of his charm on this little box. And you can always go back and clean up your edges after you're done, if you so choose. And this um, live will be turned into a blog post for Saturday with all of the measurements and the products listed. And it will also be on my YouTube channel. So there, that did not take long at all. So I am going to pull in, this is how your pizza box, mini pizza boxes come. Brand new package. And these are so quick and easy to put together. So you can see that the, oh, I pulled out two. The inside has got a plastic coating. That's why it is food safe. So all you have to do is fold on all of the score lines here. Pull that little tab off and that little tab off. Fold, fold. And like I said, you can decorate these up as much or as little as you want. Oh, that one did not. There. So to create this, all you do is take your sides, fold that in, and boom, that's done. Then you take these. Now, for the, um, the wedding uh, favor boxes, I put some tear and tape here so that it would hold the um, backs closed. That is easy to do. Um, so, but for this, I'm just going to fold that in like that. Okay, so now I have my cardstock and my designer series paper, and I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet. I love this. Use that for um, every time I'm going to use some adhesive because you just never know. And flip this around. And I like my liquid because it gives me a few minutes or a few seconds I should say longer to um, adjust if I haven't stuck it down quite quite straight. That does happen to me quite frequently, so I have to pull it up. And you don't need a whole lot. Okay, and we are just going to cover that top. Okay, now set this aside for a moment and pull out my I'm Ape Over You sentiment, which is right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And put that on there. And just, I like to use my grid lines to make sure, as I can see through, and just a 
and I'm looking at this grid line right here <clears throat> to see that my ape is fairly straight on that line. And I'm going to pull out one of these. I tucked them all back, silly me. I didn't leave one out. So I'm going to pull that out. There's a Marshall hair there. These are my wearing. I always flip my stamp over to make sure that I've got good even coverage. I line it up on my grid paper as well to make sure that it's straight on the bottom and give it a second or two so that the ink has time to transfer from the stamp to the um, cardstock there. All right, and now we're going to take some of this gorgeous ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow really quickly here. I know some people worry and fuss about making bows, I have never had an issue. I've always said it's in the way you hold your tongue. That's something my mother always used to say to me when I was a little girl. So there, that did not take too awful much. I didn't overthink it. So, and I'm bringing in my ribbon scissors. These scissors I actually hide from my family. So that way they don't, um, if anybody comes in here looking for a pair of scissors, they're not going to take my good ribbon scissors and dull them because ribbon scissors, they're fabric scissors, so they um, paper will dull them. Okay, so I am going to take a glue dot here. Well, that's my big ones. I want one of these. And I think I like the way this side looks better, so just stick that on. And I'm going to just cover that top right there. So cute. And I want a few dimensionals here. I'm going to put three dimensionals on Fred. One, two, three. And then I'm going to take some glue and put a little bit. I want this to be a little slanted here, just like that. Yep, that's great. Okay, and there you go. That did not take too awful long at all, did it? Super fun, cute. Anybody would love to receive one of these. Your coworker, your spouse, your kids, um, a neighbor, the bus driver. I will be doing up some treats for my FedEx and my UPS. Guys, they are so good. Um, they always ring the bell. They don't. Uh, they don't uh, just drop and go. So I will be uh, doing up a few treat packages for them. Now I want to say as well, don't um, throw this out. Whoops! I'm throwing it around. I keep mine, and then I have been slowly going through and cutting little bits off and attaching it to my clear mount especially the little uh, sentiment stamps um, that I would find sometimes fall off of my, uh, my blocks. So by cutting just a little piece of this and putting it over top of the um, existing 
uh, sh image sheet adds that more stick to it. So I keep that and I have been slowly, yes, it's tedious, but it's worth it to me to make sure that my stamps don't fall off. Um, and you, you've already got it, why not use it? I'm a firm believer in using everything. So these are the cards. Let me just move this, these guys here off to the side. These are three of the cards from my Hey Love stamp set uh, class. So even though I just wanted to show, these say, these are all Valentine's sentiments. You don't need to use this set for just Valentine's. These could be any time of the year, any occasion, um, cards. So this one here, I love this. This is my favorite card. Let's to get together and giggle. Now, you could totally send that to a girlfriend. I have this sentiment is from the celebration. So you can see, you look for the icon image um, with each of the uh, stamp sets or the paper and it'll say free with a $60 purchase. So this is part of my story. So this here's the stamp right here, the sentiment that I used. This sentiment set is perfect for not only for your memory keeping, but for your card making. So um, I just wanted to show you that instead of, I have another one here, instead of having your Valentine sentiment, you can sub it out and put any other sentiment. So making this stamp set a year-round stamp set, not just a um, Valentine stamp set. And then, of course, this um, sentiment, Happy Day, is from the Occasions Catalog. It is Itty Bitty Greetings, is it? Um, let me see. What is it called? I love that I can open this and show you. Let me just flip through. I did not think ahead to mark it. Um, here, itty bitty birthdays, there it is, happy day. So as you can see, you can switch out your sentiments um, for whatever you want to make this a whatever you need type of card and then of course the stinking sweet is the valentine sentiment so i just wanted to show you that so that any of the stamp sets that you have if you feel that they are only seasonal take a look at the image and take a look at what other sentiment stamps you have and you can easily switch them up and make that uh turn that into from a um, seasonal project to a any time of the year project. So that is all for me today. Thank you so much for um, watching. Please remember to share my video, show me some love so that Facebook will send my videos and my um, posts out to more people uh, with their new algorithms. It is very difficult to get um, other people to see. You'll notice even with your friends, you're not, you're, the friends that you have on Facebook, you may not be seeing all the posts that they are doing because Facebook has changed the way they do things. So for us small business owners, it makes it very difficult to um, reach more people. So anyway, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of the week. Bye.